from the one and only. This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Cutler Bay Solar Solutions. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Louis Aguirre. Here's a look at the stories making news on this Monday. A deadly crash on I-95 taking the lives of two women. The crash happened around 3.30 this afternoon in the southbound express lanes just before the exit at Miami Gardens Drive. The wreck involved a Saturn sedan and a Dodge pickup truck. FHP troopers say two women in the Saturn died at the scene. The southbound lanes have been shut down as officials investigate. Drivers are being diverted off of Ives Dairy Road. Two families seeking justice looking for the killer who gunned down their loved one in Miami. The families of 20-year-old Zariah Marshall and Dewan Graham were passing out flyers in hopes of catching the shooter. The victim stopped at the corner of Northwest 20th Avenue and 64th Street to greet a friend on February 5th. Shortly after, a dark-colored Camry pulled up and opened fire, striking the two victims. Those families now urging those who saw what happened to come forward. Now that more vaccine supply is on the way, we're learning demand for the shot is actually dropping in Florida. Health officials say not enough people want it after a recent study showed only 55 to 70 percent of people want to get vaccinated. The news comes as Jared Moskowitz, the top official responsible for Florida's handling of the COVID outbreak, has announced he's stepping down. Moskowitz says he's resigning as director of Florida's Division of Emergency Management to spend more time with family. Deputy Director Kevin Guthrie will be filling in for him. Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Be a part of the Weather Authority team. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. A mother desperate after her daughter vanishes from a nature preserve in Hollywood. 21-year-old Naomi Bolivar, who has autism, has been missing since last Thursday. Her mother, Marcel Bolivar, says Naomi went out for a walk in the afternoon and sent pictures to friends from a bus and then from the Ann Kolb Nature Center. But since 6.15 that night, no one has heard from her. The family is now worried Naomi may be in danger. If you think you've seen her, call Hollywood Police. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a great night.